Good morning, this is Chef Inspire. I'm here today just to talk to you about killing the old self. The old self. Did you know in order for you to progress and to become better or to do something different, you have to change your identity. And in changing your identity, what happens is you have to change your habits. You have to change the things that you do. You have to change the people you hang around. You have to change the situations and the circumstances that you come in contact with on a regular basis. And now I call myself Chef Inspire. This was a transformation. I transformed myself into a whole nother person. I still have the same attributes. I still have the same look about myself, but I have died to the old herb and I become Chef Inspire. This is the identity that I have chosen, that I have created. So I had to learn every day how to kill the old me. But I have used my knowledge and experience and my constant learning to push me beyond the boundaries of my environment. Check out where I am right now. I grew up in the projects, but look at this. Do you see this? Do you see the beauty and the serenity and the peacefulness and the calmness that surrounds me? I had to change the things that I do on a regular basis. I had to learn how to commune with my creator on a regular basis. I had to kill the old me, the partying me, the the, the, the drug addicted me, the, the person who, uh, the smoking cigarette me, the, the, the womanizing me. I had to kill all those things in order for me to get to my higher self, my best self. In spending time in nature has helped me tremendously to realize who I really am. When I look around and I see the beauty of my surroundings, all I could think is thank you. All I could say to myself is thank you for giving me this opportunity. I could, I could be dead right now. I grew up in gangs. I grew up in, in, in areas where, where, where people died every single day senselessly and it's still happening now but I had to kill the old me I had to do new things because if you want to go to a new place you have to do new things if you want to rise to a new level you have to kill those old devils that hold you back and a lot of the things that hold us back is our past thinking, the way we thought in the past, the way we reacted to things. I was an angry brother and I would love to fight. I would like to get into fights all the time. Why? Because I had to prove something. I had to prove who I was. And I grew up in an environment that that's what you had to do. You had to prove that you wasn't a punk. You had to prove by fighting. You had to prove by, by doing stuff that, that, will, that was violent in order to prove who you was. But now I've come to realize that if someone makes me upset, if someone makes me angry, that person is controlling me. I have lost control. And when you lose control, you are being controlled. So I had to learn how to die to the old me. 
I had to learn that when someone insulted me or someone said something to me that I did not like, instead of lashing out, instead of being violent, letting that person control me, I had to take control of myself. I had to kill the old me. The old me would have been, let's get busy, let's fight, let's, 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 you know, you, you, you insult me, you insult, you, you say something to me that, that pissed me off, we, we, we going hand to hand. But I realized that meekness, not weakness, listen to me, meekness is the most powerful attribute that you can have. Not weakness, meekness. Meekness is controlled power, power under control. Now I know I can put hands on him, but I choose the higher road. I had to kill the old me, the violent me, the me that always wanted to get into fights, the me that always wanted to strike back when I'm being, when I'm being struck. And I had to realize that if I get control over me, then I control my world. I control my surroundings. I control my destiny. But first, I have to control me. I had to kill the old me and become the new me. The better me, the stronger me. The me that is, is in communion with all of this. Do you see violence? Do you see anger? Do you see frustration and strife and bitterness? Do you see killing and murder? Do you see any of those things in the midst of what you're looking at right now? All you are seeing is beauty, peace, serenity, and prosperity, and abundance. Abundance, and this is who we are. Once we learn how to connect to this, then we become this. I had to kill my old self, and it was a painful death. But when I was reborn, I realized, thank you, thank you. Thank you. There's nothing impossible when you connect to the inner peace and the outer peace of the, of, of, of the world that you're truly living in. Einstein said this, well, our one big question is what we need to ask ourselves is, do we live in a hostile or a friendly universe? Because what you say you live in is what will become your reality. I choose to switch my reality. I choose to become Chef Inspire, to inspire, to uplift and to motivate people, to put myself in positions where I am constantly pouring into myself every single day so that as I pour into myself, I can pour out into the lives of others. I had to kill me, the old me, the violent me. You get it? You got it? Good. If so, guess what? You can have the peace that surpasses all understanding. You can live in an environment and in a place where you don't have problems. You don't have problems. What do you have is opportunities to prove who you are and to prove who he says you are. This is bigger than you and it's bigger than me. But guess what? By joining our lives together and by me speaking to you and giving you my experiences of how I changed myself if I could change me, is you could change you. I hope you get this. 
You could become the best version of you. You can have whatever you want in life. There's nothing impossible for those who believe. And believe that. This is Chef Inspire saying, I hope you get it. I hope you got it. Kill that old self. Become the best self that you can possibly be. God bless.